there. Welcome to my home. Why don't you come on in and I'm going to give you some great tips on how to throw a throw. Do you ever look around your room and you think, oh, I'm sick of everything, I want to get rid of it all, I want to start over. Sometimes you don't need to start over from scratch. Sometimes all you need to do is freshen it up and bring it back to life, which you can do with a throw and some pillows, flowers, a little bit of accent. You can never go wrong with a neutral, especially something like this, which is all beautiful caramel, sands, grays, and charcoals. Would work in almost any room. Sometimes I like to take a chair like this that doesn't feel very cozy or inviting because it's mostly wood. It has very little upholstery on it. And if you put a pillow on this, there's nowhere to sit. So somebody will have to keep taking the pillow off to sit down. So if you put a throw on here, it makes it much more cozy, much more inviting. Let me show you how. So take something like this. You're going to fold it in half like so and then you're gonna fold it in half again. So you get a really nice long piece. You're gonna put it over the seat and give yourself enough room. Give it one twist and go over the arm. So you can see how something like that makes this chair look more inviting, makes it a little more cozy, and that will invite people to actually sit down and use this chair. So I just wanted to share with you a few of the little details about the throws that we've seen today. These are from Froz, which is our scarf company. So you've probably seen a lot of the beautiful scarves that we show you every week in our videos. They also make these beautiful throws. So they have that gorgeous cashmink feel, um, which is the feel of cashmere without the price. They are all made in Germany and they are also put through that thistle construction to stop them from pilling. So there's very, very little pilling involved. They have a beautiful, beautiful, soft and cozy feel. They all come with a coordinating fringe and they really make just a great gift idea if you're looking for a gift for somebody and you have no idea what to get them or what size they are, sometimes that's tricky. A throw can be a great gift because it's something that somebody may not buy themselves, although I would, um, and you might too. So it's always great to have a little collection of these. I switch mine out all the time um, with the season. Sometimes if I'm bored, I switch my pillows and throws out just to change my room and give it a new look. And it really does add its own life and freshness to the room. So you know the best part about these frost throws? They're reversible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half, like so, and then I'm gonna fold it again, and then I'm gonna drape it over my ottoman. Actually, I think I need to fold it one more time, like so. And I think that looks really, really pretty. If you wanted to, then you could stack some books on top of it and it just adds that shot of color it's always within a hand's reach and you'll use it to death so a really fun thing to do is to throw a throw over a bed um, something like this has a real blanket look almost like a well-traveled look like i picked it up and i brought it home and i just tossed it over the bed don't worry about it going and matching perfectly with what you have when it's something like this it looks kind of eclectic and uh, very unique. So this is not big enough on a king size bed to go this way. It doesn't look like a blanket. It looks like a throw that's too small on a king. You'd be fine on a double and you would be fine on a twin to put it at the end, have it drape over the edges, but it won't work on a king. So here's a little tip. You angle it, you go this way, have a little bit of the corner showing and then drape it down the sides. That way you can still see the pattern and you can see the colors in the throw, but it doesn't have that kind of postage stamp too small for the bed look. And again, it just gives you that kind of well-traveled eclectic look. So there's a little tip. So sometimes if I'm going out in the evening, I'm going to a hockey game or a football game or um, maybe to someone's cottage, I wanna grab a throw on my way out. Every time I get out the door, it's something that I forget. So a great idea is to keep one at the front door. So you can see how beautiful the colors are in this with the charcoal, this gorgeous sunflower yellow, and the black. So we're gonna fold it up. Now you could put these in a basket at the front door, which is a great thing to do because you'll never forget. So I folded it, 
I'm gonna fold it one more time, and then I'm just gonna drape it over the little ottoman at the door, and it kind of becomes part of my display or vignette at the front door. It's always gonna be here, I can always grab it, and it's always ready. So if you've liked this video, we'd love to hear from you. So please send us your comments. Um, and if you'd like to see more of these little videos, let us know, we're happy to hear from you.